All right, we're back with the 944 after our mishap with the wiring in the uh, steering wheel hub adapter. So let's get dig right into this thing and see how bad the damage was. All right, I said we're getting into this thing. We're really getting into it. I got the dashboard out and stuff while we were uh, in between. And I have all this apart right now. I did fix the wiring from the uh, turn signal and to the headlight switch, but the headlight switch is burn up. So waiting for that to come in so I can test some stuff. And I started taking out some extra wiring that's not needed anymore, um, like the AC stuff and headlight motor stuff and other things. But while I'm waiting, this had the uh, giant AC compressor on it still, that thing, and no point. So I started making an alternator bracket and I'm not gonna use that little 50 amp GM alternator. Since I have a ton of Mazda alternators laying around, uh, I started, uh, started mocking in a bracket to use a, uh, RX-8 alternator and uh, so far so good. I'm gonna have to reinforce it with some stiffening stuff here but I gotta get that old belt off, power steering belt off and uh, I got a bunch of belts to try on this to see where I land and then uh, once I know I'm all lined up and stuff I'm gonna take this out and like I said I'm gonna do the reinforcing with uh, so this doesn't bend because it's just aluminum. It's not super thick. And then we're gonna clean that all up. But then that's gonna give low amount alternator. We're gonna have 100 amps. Um, we should be good. And that cleans up the bay a lot. I mean, a lot. So, and the other alternator was hitting the belts and, or not the belts, the hoses and stuff like that. So, let me get this off, um, the belts off and stuff like that and uh, when I have this all out, um, we'll go over a little bit exactly how I'm doing it. As you can see, there's a little spacer in there and stuff. But the biggest thing is, is getting the belt in alignment. So this right now is still kind of flimsy. So I can twist this way and this way if I'm a little off. And then once I've got the twist where I want it, then I hold it. And then we're going to burn everything in, melt some metal together. So give me a minute and uh, let me get into this. Well, we're back for the second mock-up of the alternator. I found a belt to fit this thing, um, and I started reinforcing it. It's going to need a little more reinforcing, but I found a short little belt, and I've ran it. It hasn't tossed the belt, so we're good there. So, on the other hand, I uh, went to the salvage yard and found a bunch of parts I was missing, which is going to help this substantially. Uh, I got some visors. I got a new fuel, fuse box, and... Uh, whole wiring harness so i've already wasted hours and hours and hours rewiring everything in here um the front is good i rewired that it's a lot thinner got rid of a lot of the stuff that was in there but um been playing around in here and this fuse box was all screwed up and everything else and uh so i'm done messing with any of that stuff which works out awesome because I bought a bunch of turn signal switches and stuff like that. Spent a ton of money on them. But now I've got the uh, OEM, OEM ones again, which is awesome. I got a new fuse box that hasn't been ripped apart, uh, ripped open, and had all kinds of stuff messed with it. And we'll now have some gauges. And instead of screwing around with that uh, hub adapter, I found a mint steering wheel. The car literally had 40,000 miles on it, or 41,000. And so we got this new harness and I'll be able to fix the roof now because I have all the sunroof parts, all the hinges, everything else, seals. I got uh, seals for these I found. And then I found this with the dome light and everything. So I'm actually going to have dome light, everything. So everything's starting to look a lot better here. Um, I'm going to go up. I forgot to grab a few things. We we're running out of time up there and uh, forgot like the trim around the window the car still had that that guy was gutted pretty good somebody was trying to do a rally build on it and uh crashed it so yeah we're gonna go back up in a couple days and get more parts that way uh 
can get more of this stuff done. Like I'm going to get the, uh, I started pulling the rear harness that goes to the taillights because this one's hacked up pretty good from when they tried to rewire everything from the rear to the front. So let me uh, dig into this, get this all out, fuse boxes and all that stuff. Oh, and I also got the clip for the, the shifter so it won't pull off on me anymore too. And I'm miscellaneous and nuts and bolts and screws and everything else. So let me uh, rip into this harness, get this one out in the fuse box out, and then we're gonna start putting everything back in. And this is awesome, because this is gonna save a ton of time. And then for these gauges, since I have the S2 dash, because that dash was messed up real bad in that car, or else I was gonna grab it. Um, I'm gonna cut the three holes in this and mount the gauges in it for now. Um, I still gotta weld it up and stuff, but that's no big deal for mock-up, um, which is awesome, because I'm gonna have fuel gauge and all that stuff that this car was missing. So let me uh, tear into this thing a little bit and we'll be right back with the uh, progress. All right, so furs in progress, I meant I was gonna do a bunch of stuff and not film at all. <laughs> so started doing the uh, rear seat delete here and got it all boxed in. I just gotta get some metal trim and uh, trim that all together. And ow, smash my head. I got carpet over there to put in. Got the dashboard all back in. Got the gauges just sitting here for right now. They all work, uh, except for the coolant temp sensor was doing some wonky stuff. So I have to, um, well, I already did. <laughs> you know, because uh, like I said, didn't film. So I just put a new uh, spade connection on for that. I have a new coolant temperature sensor for the car that I'm gonna put in real quick. Um, that I need both hands for, so don't lose a ton of coolant. And uh, then we're gonna start working on cutting some holes in this. Well, first we gotta find center for the speedometer and then for the other cluster and stuff. This isn't staying like this. This is uh, just the start of the mock-up of it. But we're gonna get the holes cut and then we're going to try and fit the gauges and get those in there. So as of right now, all the lights work again. Headlights, wipers, uh, we're street legal uh, after our giant miss uh, step and stuff like that with the steering wheel adapter. So um, we're closing in on this really quick. Uh, I was cleaning this up a little bit and stuff. So let me get this coolant temperature sensor in and then we'll start working on this gauge cluster and then we'll get back into this alternator and get it wired up so we got some charging system. So uh, let me uh, set up here and we'll start working on those gauges. Okay, I uh, got the coolant temperature sensor and all that in and all this back together. But one other thing I forgot is uh, I pulled off that ghettoized roof that was riveted and screwed and everywhere else. I got to weld all these holes in now. But we got the sunroof back in, a uh, little body work to do back here. Uh, they filled this all with silicone. Uh, we had to pry the other roof out with silicone. And they also, besides just riveting it, they... Uh, glued the hell out of it. As you can see on the old sunroof that they left in the car, we actually uh, broke it pretty good and tore it up. Uh, yeah, they they definitely uh, made sure the roof was staying on, uh, even though it was very ghetto. As you can see, I still got a rivet in here, so I got to fix all that. Got all the crap out of these rails, and then this is all still silicone still, but I got to get off here, so it's going to be scraping, but then you see I got to weld in every one of these holes, um, which we'll be doing later on. Uh, I just got a little carried away with the stuff. Um, so let's get these gauges out and then we're gonna see how we're gonna fit them. I do have actually, so for the proper size hole, I did grab this whole deal here. So we have the right size holes. Um, I also got the clock in the oil gauge. So, once we find center, we're going to uh, do our holes in here so we can get our three gauges in. Yeah, but uh, the biggest thing is, is we gotta get them out of the car first. And I'm gonna try and do this without dropping everything, which I'm probably just gonna drop everything. So let me uh, get these out and then we'll get onto that bezel again. All right, I got everything out without dropping it pretty much. So we're just gonna find center line here for the speedometer, which is pretty easy because of the steering wheel. So we're gonna come down center here. 
and uh, just mark that center right there, which will give us our center line for across this whole thing. So now I got to get this out and uh, then we'll figure out what we're going to do for our holes here with the uh, gauges. So this is in here pretty tight. Well, maybe not so tight. So we'll get this out, go over here, find our circumference and uh, start cutting the holes. Um, I'll set this up uh, so we can see what I'm doing. All right, I got one hole cut out. Uh, I didn't have my hole saw, so you can still cut a hole if you don't have a hole saw. Um, I'll show you real quick. So the gauge fits. I'm gonna use the old rubber, rubber O-rings to hold it in. So I gotta cut these other two and then two more for the clock in the oil pressure gauge. But all I did is took the cutoff wheel, made a bunch of pies across this hole, and then took the tin snips out and just carefully just trimmed around the black ring. And that's all you gotta do. So let me get this done and uh we'll get this kind of set up uh I'll find some zip ties or whatever for now just to lock these in so we can test fit it in the car i may have to take the steering wheel off to get this in afterwards but uh let's get this all together and see where we're at so give me just a second um no point in uh filming me cutting holes so uh let me get to it all right we got all our holes cut um it'll work for now gauges are a little dirty but um we'll get this smoothed out and straight and stuff like that um and then we'll get these actually clamped right down in there um can I actually use hose clamps on the back of them uh which makes life easy um i'll use but this is all going to get wrapped in alcantara so there'll be a little more fabric well there'll be some fabric and stuff well when it's done i'll actually have another trim piece around this and across the bottom which will strengthen that up too but we're just getting a start on this um so we can drive a thing. Um, so I got to get the other two holes in and then I got to try and fit this in there. Uh, like I said, I think I'm going to have to pull the steering wheel off in order to get it in there. We'll see in a second. I might be able to get that in there and then put the gauges in. But uh, let's see how we look. Um, I'll fight with it a little bit as my phone goes in low power mode and uh, get that in there and then see how we're looking. All right, I got this thing wrestled in here just like I thought it was going to be. Uh, I got to take the steering wheel off to get the uh, um, yeah speedometer in. But as you can see, they're just sitting here right now. Nothing crazy, a little bit of finessing. And like I said, making that bottom trim piece come around here. And then down here will structurally make that a lot more sound. But sitting here, um, I can see all the gauges fine. So we have our gauges. Um, like I said, this is all going to get rewrapped eventually. Right now, let's just get it moving, running. We can drive it, mess around with it, and uh, stuff like that. And then uh, as we get more time, um, we'll work on this a little more. Uh, I'm probably just going to put a double din radio in here. Uh, we don't have any heat right now, but working on that eventually. So I'm going to keep uh, finessing this a little bit. I got to do... Like I said, the two gauges for the uh, clock and the oil pressure I'm going to put up here. We don't have any heater vents, so that is what it is. Um, but this looks like it's going to work fine. Speedometer cable's right there. It's going to plug into the back of that without any issue. Screw in, and then uh, i got to make a spot for my four-way switch here and then plug this off. Um, this is all going to get riveted. This is all temporary until we go to wrap everything, and then you're never going to see any of this anymore. So let me uh, mess around a little more with this and uh, we'll get what we're going to look like other than a finished product, you know, something close. But I mean, you're already getting the idea of where we're going with this. Um, so that's the thing. We've already got gauges. And so now that's half the battle. And uh, yeah, let me get to it. All right. In typical fashion, got a lot done. Um, didn't film, but uh Get the speedometer in, still got to hook the cluster up. Um, in the next video, we'll be mounting these seats. They're kind of just sitting in here now. I got to wire up the alternator the rest of the way. And uh, I'm going to do a lot of stuff off camera. Like I've got to fix that one hole in the floor right there and uh, clean all this up and rust convert it and get that all done. But, well, I said didn't film is we recarpeted the whole back end, did the rear seat delete. 
Uh, I got to have all that seamed up and stuff, but we have partial interior in it. We've got most of the sunroof in. Um, we kind of just did that on a whim. Um, but like I said, I got to have somebody stitch it. Uh, I got to trim it a little bit more, but I mean, that's pretty much good. Um, yeah, the sun's going to mess up stuff. So it's almost like the factory carpet, except we deleted the spare tire cover as well. So we made our own carpet, no big deal. And, uh, like I said, got a lot done and we'll be doing a lot more. So we've pretty much saved this thing. All the lights work. It's street legal now. Uh, I'm going to have to get some tires. Uh, these are dry rotted pretty good, but, um, the next one, we should be able to be driving this thing. Uh, we'll probably go for a road trip, but for now the seat's not bolted down. So I gotta be a little careful and, uh, it's going to be tough to kind of hold the camera while we do this. And I'm a little far back, but like I said, all the gauges are in. You notice everything uh, kicks on. Oil pressure, all that. There's the four ways, defroster, headlight switches down here. They all work, but uh, we haven't done any of this yet. So let's see. For a car that came here that was going to the junkyard, we're not doing too bad right now. We're moving under our own power, backing up. I gotta watch out here a little bit because I got a customer's car parked right there. I don't wanna fall into the back seat like I almost just did, <laughs> or what used to be a back seat. I'm gonna end up falling here. And unfortunately, for me at least you won't really see it on film but uh it keeps tipping me into the back seat uh because like i said these seats aren't bolted down yet that's what we're gonna do and the next one we are 100 percent moving under our own power right now all the gauges are working i still got to address uh that uh um, bell housing bolts are loose, so I don't want to go too crazy right now, but as you can see, I'll hold on real quick. Oh, actually that rattling noise is the uh, alternator bracket. I got to tighten some bolts down, but we are halfway there other than fixing some stuff up. Let's see if I can send myself in the back seat here. Yeah, seats are loose. <laughs> but, I mean, we're moving under our own power without any issue. All the gauges are working. We're gonna park this thing right here for now. Things running awesome. I uh, did some fuel injection cleaner in it. Probably gonna have to replace the fuel filter, stuff like that. But I mean, it's so good now. Literally, like it was just some stupid shit. So, yeah, we're uh, not doing too bad. So yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, moved on to the power. It's outside. Stuff like that. So next one, hopefully we'll be taking it down the road. And, uh, you know, I hate, everybody hates it when you say it, but like, comment, and subscribe. And also, you know, support the companies that support us. I'll give you a uh, coupon code, but uh, Oxido supported us uh, from the beginning here so far. So you can get 15% off and, uh, you know, bright headlights are nice. So peace out, guys.